Good morning, good morning, good morning, fam. Happy Saturday morning. I see my early bird chirps already this morning. Wishing happy, wishing good mornings. Thank you guys for that. I hope you are off to a great start for your weekend, and I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. Uh, I just finished my workout. I got 4.13 miles in, burnt 713 calories in 71 minutes, almost 72 minutes. Uh, but feel good about my workout, trying to maintain what I've up tank okay so I said that I would do eight days of uh, giving keys on how to build your self-confidence and yesterday the key was <clears throat> excuse me stop uh, worrying uh, I'm sorry stop worrying about other people's opinions of you <clears throat> stop worrying about other people's opinions of you okay so uh what we wanted to do is say okay we might care about what other people think but not to the point where it demeans us or it causes us to lose our self-confidence and so we want to keep our self-confidence by going to the word and seeing what God says about us and whatever God says about us that's what we want to believe but another thing that we want to do to maintain our self-confidence when we're talking about um, stop worrying about what other people's opinions of you are is that start a negative thought diary okay so when you have a negative thought or if somebody says something negative about you and it impacts you start capturing that and write that down because negative thoughts have a way of lingering in our head and in our mind and so if we write it down then we can come up with a strategy of how to attack that so let's say if somebody said you're ugly okay um, and if they say it often enough you might start to believe that but if you write down that thought and then you go to God's word and you say, well, what does God's word say about me? If God's word says that I was fearfully and wonderfully made and when he made me, he said it is good, then OK. I'm not going to pay attention to what somebody else says about negativity or about calling me ugly, because that is how you capture that negative thought and you attack it and you bury it. So stop worrying about what other people's opinions are of you. OK, so day two, the second key that you want to do to keep your self-confidence and to build self-confidence is to focus on your strengths. What are some of the things that you are really, really good at? Because by focusing on those strengths, what you are doing is putting less attention on the negative things. So let's just go down the list and think about some things. And just as you're writing down your negative thoughts, write down those things that you're really, really good at. Because what that does is that gives you positive reinforcement. It makes you feel good about yourself, you know, uh, and it helps you build your self-image. It helps you build, you know, your self-confidence. And so we want to keep those things. I can just think of some things, just people in the family. You know, I think Johnny Mac is just really really smart is the most one of the most intelligent people that I know you know I watched her one time uh, watch Jeopardy and she answered almost every question that was on Jeopardy so I think Johnny May is just really really intelligent when I think of my sister Lavette she is such a open hand and a giver she's such a quiet spirit but she is such a giver and shows a tangible expression of love like nobody I ever seen except for Mama Gerald, you know, and I just love that about her. When I think of Teresa, you know, Teresa is such a great encourager. No matter what somebody says on WhatsApp, she's always going to come back with that positive reaffirmation and positive affirmation of, of making you feel good about even the smallest accomplishment or just giving you encouragement when you do things when I think about my sister Karen Karen is such a has such a strong work ethic and has a multitasking ability like I have never seen in anybody and that is definitely her strength did y'all see how she worked the family reunion 
I meant she was just doing things a mile a minute on little sleep and made it look seamless and effortless. So that is definitely her strength. And I can go on and on and on down the list, but I just wanted to give you an example of how you can focus on your strengths and that will help you with your self-confidence. And also, not only would it help you with your self-confidence, but it'll make you feel so much better about the things that you have the capability to do. Because remember, we said confidence is really trust in your abilities. So the more that you trust in your abilities of the things that you are strong in, when those negative thoughts come, it's easier for you to put them by the wayside or even make uh, those things that you're not so good in strengthen those things as well. So, okay, so for day two, uh, the key to building your self-confidence is uh, focus on your strengths, okay? And I am done, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. How about that? Mm.